Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see that, how we can achieve this liquid sliding animation to introduce the intro screen in our Flutter application, and apart from that we are also going to build this bottom indicator to indicate the current page, and this skip and next button functionality. So let's start the video, so here I've this empty project, and to achieve this liquid sliding animation in our application first we need to add a dependency, so first open your pubspec.yaml file, and here add liquid swipe, and then tap on this pub get option to get all the dependency, then come into the main.dart file and from here first remove this my home page class, then come into the lib directory and here create the a new dart file as liquid swipe intro, because this class will contain all the intro pages, then come inside this file and here create a stateful widget as liquid swipe intro and then import the material. Then go to the main file and from here remove this my home page and here add from here. Call our newly created liquid swipe intro widget and also import it. Now come to this liquid swipe class and first above here create a common text style for all the text widgets, so here add static then final then style, and then add the text style, so for our texts the font size is going to 30 and the font weight is going to 600, then come into the state class, and here let's first create the necessary variable. So here first create a variable page and set it to zero. This will help and to get the current page index, then here create a late variable liquid. Controller and set it to liquid controller and we are going to initialize this inside the init method. Then here create a variable update type and set it to update type, this will be used to update the page. Then we need a list of pages to show, so for that we are not going repeat our code all the time, so I'm creating another Dart file as master intro screen, then come inside this file and here create a stateless widget as master intro screen, and then import the material. So we will call this single class for all the intro screens, and we are just going to pass the changing things to this screen, by doing this we will reduce our code by a lot of margin. So in our intro screen first we need a background color, so here add a color variable for the background color, then afterwards here add three string variables as text1, text2 and text3, and please these variable mindfully in your application. Here in this video I'm doing this to just showcase you how things are working, then add all this variables inside this constructor, and mark all of them as required. And also add the final to all the above variable, now come inside this build method and. From here remove this placeholder thing, and here add a container widget. Then for color add the background color to this container, then for child add a column widget. And sets its cross axis alignment to center and then main axis size to max, and the main axis alignment to space evenly. Now come inside the children property, and here add an image widget with the asset image, and this image could be anything, and then set the fit property to cover, this will make the image cover the entire screen, and don't worry about the image I'll add this in a minute. Then here add a padding widget with the padding property set to 24 for the all side, then again add a column widget and come inside this children part. And here add the text widget with the text property set to text1, and now for the style come to this liquid swipe screen and from here copy this style, and add it inside this class and then add this style to our text widget, now copy this text widget and do the same for text2 and text3. Now let's add the assets. For this come at your directory and here create the assets directory, and inside this directory place your image, now come into the pubspec.yaml file, and here add the assets, so for that scroll down to here and uncomment these line, and make sure about indentation thing. Then here add the path, so in my case it is assets slash, now come to the liquid swipe class, and come inside the pages array, then here add a master intro screen widget with the background color property set to colors.blue, and then sets the text1 text2 and the text3 property, and then copy paste this items as per your requirements like how many screens do you want in your application. Here I'm adding to 6 times with the all required details, and now I've added all my required intro. Screens inside this list, now come outside of this list and here add init state method. And inside this method initialize the liquid controller by calling the liquid controller constructor, now come ins die the build method and from here remove this placeholder and here add the scaffold widget, then for the body add the stack widget to it, now come inside the children of this stack and here add the liquid swipe widget, because this will help us to create the liquid swipe, then here add the pages. 
and set the pages as the pages list, which we have created above, then add the position slide icon as 0.8. This will set the position of the slide icon to 0.8 which means it will be at 80% of the screen, then add the slide icon widget as icon widget, and set the icon as back icon, this will set the icon of the slide icon, then add the on page change callback. This will help us to get the current page index and here add this method. Now let's do create this. So here I've created this method inside it just make use of set state and then, assign active page index to our page variable, then. Add the wave type as liquid reveal, this will set the wave type for the animation. Then add the liquid controller, this sets the liquid controller which we have created above. Then add the full transition value as 880, this will set the full transition value as 880, basically this sets the animation sensitivity, the higher the value the more sensitive the animation, then add the enable side reveal as true, this will enable the side to for swipe, then add the prefer drag from revealed area as true, this will helps in to achieve the drag from the revealed area. Then sets the enable loop as true, this will enable the loop but in your application make sure to make it false. Then add the ignore user's gesture while animating to true. This will ignore the user gesture while animating. Finally all the things are done, now let's just save the code and we have an error. So just do one thing, restart the app and the app is installed perfectly and this page is looking quite beautiful. Now let's just swipe to the second page and you can feel the smooth swiping animation. So up until the animation thing is working perfectly, now let's quickly build the indicator dots for them. So for that, First come above here and create the method. To build the dots for the pages, and this method will take the index as parameter. And then inside this function, here create a variable selectedness and set it to curves.easeout.transform, and inside this transform method, calculate the selectedness, then here add the max method, and inside this method add the 0.0, .0 and 1.0 minus page then minus index then we will make it absolute. So this will calculate the selectedness. So let me quickly explain you this this line of code. So this line is calculating the selectedness of the dot. The selectedness is calculated by taking the absolute value of the difference between the current page and the index. Then subtracting that value from 1, then taking the maximum of 0 and the result of the subtraction. This is done to ensure that the selectedness value is always between 0 and 1. Now we use the selectedness value to calculate the zoom value. So here create a variable zoom and set it to 1 plus 1 multiply by selectedness, so this will calculate the zoom. Now that was it for the calculation part, now let's build the indicator UI, so for that come inside this container, and here here set the width of the container as 25, then here add the child of the container as center widget. Because we want to center the dot, then here add the child of the center widget as material widget, because we want to have a circular dot. You can also do this by using the circle avatar widget but here I'm using the material widget because material widget is more customizable. Then here set the color of the material as white. Then here set the type of the material as circle. Then here add the container widget. And sets the width and height of the container as 8 multiplied by zoom and this. Container is showing a warning so let's make to sized box so the warning will go. Now come inside your build method then inside the stack widget. Then here add the padding widget to add the padding from the bottom and align the dots to the bottom, so here I'm adding the padding from the bottom as 20, then add a column widget as child, then come inside the children widget and add the expanded widget and then inside it a empty sized box, so you may ask what is the reason behind this, so the reason is to align the dots to the right side, then add a row widget as child, and then sets the main axis alignment as center, this will align the dots to the center, then add the children of the row widget. And here we are using the list.generate method to generate the dots, and this method takes the length of the data list and a function to build the dot. Now if you save the code then you can see that the indicator is appeared on the screen, and as we change the page the indicator is animating from its current index to the next index. And now the indicator thing is working perfectly, now let's create the next and skip to last button and there. Functionality so for that come outside of this padding widget, and here add the align widget. This will help us to align the buttons to the bottom right, then add the child of the align widget as padding widget, and sets the padding as all 25, then add the child of the padding widget as text button widget, then add the onPressed method, this will help us to skip to the end, 
Then call the liquidcontroller.animate to page method and pass the page as pages length minus one. This will animate to the last page. And set the duration as 700, then add the child of the text button as text widget, and set the text as skip to end. Now save the code and the skip button is appeared on the screen. Now let's tap on this button and you can see we are navigated to the last page. Now this button is not looking cool so let's add the style to it. So for that, add the style of the text button and set the background color as white with opacity of 0.01 and foreground color as black. Now save the code and the button is looking great. Now for the next button just copy this above align widget and paste it below one more time. But this time set the alignment to bottom left, then change the text to next, then from on pressed method remove this code and here. Call the liquid controller then jump to page method and pass the page as liquid controller dot current page plus one, and check if the current page is greater than the page's length minus one then set the page as zero, this will help us to jump to the next page, and if the user is on last page then again send them to zero th page, but you need to write your logic for the next page. Now save the code and you can see that our next button is working perfectly with the page animation and the indicator animation, so yeah that was it for this video. If you liked the video then please give us thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to Widget Wisdom yet, then please do subscribe to us.